I'm so excited. I'm here at CNT Publishing in Concord, California. My new tool is here. Come on, let's go see what it looks like. I've been hearing all about it. That's it. I'm so excited. Hey, look, it's one of the big cheeses. Hey, hi, Alex. Hi, I'm, I'm here to see my new tool. Great. And a quilt from Liz Amoloski and myself, our third super simple book. Come on, let's go. Come on, let's go. Word on the street is it's in here in the CNT photo studio. It's small, so where is it? There it is. I'm so excited. Look at this. It has my name on it. That is pretty awesome. It's four tools in one. Let me show you how to use it. You're going to love it too. Let's talk about the outside ends first. First of all, there's a pressing tool, nice and flat, and where I use this is in foundation paper piecing. What you can do here is as you sew your pieces on, rather than running to your iron every time, you can just take this and press like that and then continue on. So that's like really super cool. Also, there's this pointy end, which I think is great for when you're perhaps doing a pillowcase or something that you need to poke out the corners. I always use like my seam ripper before and I'd like poke a hole in it. Also, you can use this for stuffing a doll head. Like I'm never going to do that. Love this end, love this end. But if that's not enough, hey, on this end is a fantastic seam ripper. This seam ripper is the same one that Bernina uses on theirs and you know how sharp they are. Awesome. And then on this end, you have a stiletto. Now you can use a stiletto for a couple things. I love, 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 love this technique that I've just learned when it comes to applique and it is when you cut freezer paper, spray starch the outside, use your little wand iron, and then use the stiletto to pull down the edges. And actually, this technique is in my new book, Hand and Machine Applique. This is how I'm preparing all my applique these days. Last but not least, if piecing is a little problem causing for you, the stiletto is great at your sewing machine because you can guide in the fabric as you work and you won't get that weird slippage. Here, let me show you. Now, if you're a left-hander, you're probably going to want to put your stiletto in your left hand and just guide in. If you're a right-hander, you're going to want to put it in your right hand. But what that's going to do is that's going to keep you from getting those weirdo trail-offs that you get when you're piecing. You know, you've got to go for perfection. At least try for it. I love this tool. I'm so excited. And soon, you'll be able to get it at your local quilt shop. Just ask for it. It's just under $20. You know, remember, this was made in the United States, and it's hand-turned. And I know my dad's going to be pretty impressed, because he used to work on his lathe all the time. Now, here's the thing. There's only two existing in the world right now. And I'm sitting here looking at this, thinking, I wonder if anyone 